This short video shows the reactions of a primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol with acidified potassium dichromate. In the rugby school practical, the uh, three alcohols are labelled A, B and C for you to identify which is the primary, secondary and tertiary. The purposes of this video, we will just simply use the three alcohols, butan 1-ol, butan 2-ol and 2-methyl propan 2-ol. The butan 1-ol is a primary alcohol, the butan 2-ol is a secondary alcohol and the 2-methyl propan 2-ol is a tertiary alcohol. We're going to mix them together with acidified potassium dichromate. This is an oxidizing agent and if there is oxidation it will turn from orange to green. So we'll first do um, add a small quantity of the butan 1-ol to a test tube. So the first one, butan 1-ol. Then in the second test tube, some butan 2-ol. And into the third test tube, some 2-methyl propan 2-ol which you'll notice is just starting to solidify on this um, cold day in the laboratory. So to each one of those, I'm going to add some acidified potassium dichromate. Um, there may be a sign of reaction even in the cold, but we're then going to place them into a hot water bath. Um, it's been heated, it's up to about 80 or 90 degrees. There's no reason to go any higher because the three alcohols would um, boil at any temperature higher than that. So, some acidified potassium dichromate. You'll see there's possibly some reaction already with um, some of these alcohols into the butan 1-ol, into the butan 2-ol, and into the to leave that up, open to up. Okay, then we're just going to pop them into the hot water bath. So the butan 1 ol, the butan 2 ol, which already has shown some sign of change, and the 2 methyl propan 2 ol. I'll give each one a shake see if we get the two liquids mixing. keeping the order exactly the same. So the butan 1-ol, the butan 2-ol, and the 2-methyl propan 2-ol. So you might be able to see already that there is signs of boiling um, with the alcohols in the hot water bath, and there is some distinct color change. This one, butan 1-ol, is just starting to change. The butan 2-ol had an immediate change and is um, now starting to go quite nicely. But the tertiary 2-methyl propan 2-ol at present is not changing. So we'll just leave those for a few moments longer. This confirms um, what you might already know, which is that primary alcohols can be oxidised, secondary alcohols can be oxidised, Tertiary alcohols uh, cannot be oxidized by acidified potassium dichromate. Um, so in the first instance, the butan 1-ol, a little bit slower than the butan 2-ol. If we leave them long enough, they're heading towards green. Obviously, the combination that you're seeing at the moment is probably a combination of the green developing and the orange disappearing. Just leave them in there for a little bit longer. The dichromate ion, Cr2O72-, 
uh, changes during this reaction if it's sufficiently acidic, acidic to the chromium-3 ion, Cr3+, which is the green color. The alcohols, the butan-1-ol, uh, is being oxidized possibly first to butan-al and then to butanoic acid. The butan-2-ol is being oxidized to butanone, but the tertiary methylpropan-2-ol is not oxidized. Okay, so a distinct green color developing. A distinct green color developing. And no sign of any reaction. So no visible change, the orange color is maintained.